Welcome back everyone to another tier list video. So today I'm going to be talking about the items in Ancient Tab. So these are items that you craft at the Ancient Pseudoscience Station within the ruins. They cannot be prototyped, which is pretty different compared to other crafting tabs. And everything in here is really expensive because really you can only find the things in the ruins. So they're just expensive because things are difficult down there. So with that said, let's get into it. First things first, let's do these ones on the left so they don't bother me throughout the rest of this video. Thulocyte suit, F tier. There's really no use for this unless you get one from like the ancient guardian or whatever for free you wouldn't ever craft it uh because it's so so expensive and even if you did get it from the ancient guardian i think the best use for it would to be actually just grab a deconstruction staff and deconstruct it for its thulocyte because it's just not worth using it's way too expensive for what it does and body slot armor is normally just ineffective because the body slot is better used for the magiluminescence or a backpack. Next up, we got the Houndia Shudius going in D tier. Houndia Shudius is actually an extremely useful item. The only issue with it is that it's absurdly expensive. It takes a Deerclops eyeball, Ancient Guardian horn, and Hive Thulocyte. Absurdly expensive, but extremely useful. It's a current that can heal itself. So, you know, it has range, all that. It's just extremely hard to get the items for otherwise it'd be significantly better it still has its use cases but it's for extremely extremely late game uh the pioneer garden hat whatever it's called um let's put this down in f tier if you can go to the ruins you're already a pretty advanced player you really don't need farming anymore and chances are you'll likely understand if like uh you're a warly man you'll understand what issue with the farm without the stupid hat if you're anyone else you just there's really no point in farming as far as I see it. So yeah, just F tier. This doesn't make sense. Next up, we got Thulocyte. So Thulocyte's required to make everything. And this is basically just recipe there so that you can turn the bits into the regular Thulocyte so that you can craft everything else with it. And so that they could break Thulocyte down into those little pieces. Thulocyte walls, F tier. So these are pretty much purely decorative. They are extremely expensive as far as walls go. They have a little bit more health. But if your walls are getting attacked already you have a pretty big issue and if you were to try and just add more health to a wall you'd probably be better off doing something like an end table that has no health thulocyte medallion um we'll put this in e tier the thulocyte medallion is to show what phase of like the nightmare phase you're in mainly but it has a secondary use that will show where the ancient key is on the map so if you lost it in that scenario it's good to have that you can find it back again because sometimes it can be hard to find back again especially if another player played on your server and they had just like threw it in a random corner somewhere uh the lazy forager another item going in e tier it can be useful for gathering items out of certain farms and then also it can be used to gather items out of cave holes Generally, it's not worth the inventory space to carry it around to gather items out of cave holes. But once in a while, it is useful for those certain farms to gather the items out of it because they're too dangerous to just sit around and grab the items. And what this does is it just grabs items around you automatically. It's not even very fast at doing that. I wish they'd really just like speed it up. So it'd just pick up all the items on the ground next to you immediately. Magiluminescence S tier. This is one of the best items in the entire game because it is a speed boost. It does go in the chest slot. So, you know, it'd be better if it went in like the helmet slot or something because the helmet slot's less useful, but it's still very worthwhile use of it to get a speed boost because speed boosts are OP for combat and just exploration in general and other stuff like that. And you can refuel it with nightmare fuel. It also provides light while worn. So you can put this on with the walking cane and just run straight through the night and you're going to be perfectly good. And yeah, it's a very good item and you can get a very early game if you do a runes rush. Construction amulet, we will put in A tier. This halves the cost of any item you are making. It's most useful within the tab itself. So if you're making ancient items, that's pretty much what it's most useful for. And then there's a couple other items that it's also useful for. So it's just nice to have around. Very, very good item, useful in a lot of situations. It could go up higher, but the deconstruction staff, the other thing that uses green gems is also really good. So uh, the lazy explorer, we're gonna put this up in S tier. This is just an upgraded walking cane. So, and then you also need it to kill the ancient fuel. Weaver. You pretty much need it. It's possible to kill without it very difficult unless you're playing a uh, war talks you can teleport regardless so very very much so almost required so that you can escape his bone cage attack our collar staff this thing's ridiculous like uh if you turn into a moon collar staff 
I did the calculations on it once. It almost came out to be like 200 days worth of light this thing provides after you get it down to like the 5%. So all of its uses except for one gone. And then you can turn it into a moon collar staff for the moon stone event, which then gets, I think, another 50 uses out of it, but it'll be cold instead. Extremely good item. It's not even very expensive in the first place. So I love this item. Generally, I won't be making this item when I do a ruins rush because, you know, I only go down in the ruins for my ruins rush, but it takes living long. So it's more of a late game item, honestly. The Ancient Guardian drops it. Oh man, I'm happy. Deconstruction Staff also going in S tier. This can be great for gathering items back. And then also it, what it does, basically, it gives you 100% of the items back from a thing you deconstruct. You do that five times. So you only want to use it on really, really expensive items or structures or whatever. You can use it in combination with the amulet here. So if you have a whole bunch of green gems, you can actually create things for half the, what they actually cost. And they deconstruct them for 100% of what they normally cost. So you actually gain 50% of the resources that are used for that. Generally, that's not worthwhile to do unless it's an item that you would really have to go out of your way for, which in that very nice to have but yeah that's a possibility green gems basically are a free duping pass pick slash axe this i would only ever use if i came across it from the ancient guardian i would not deconstruct it because it's not very expensive in the first place and it's generally helpful within the ruins because it's inventory space efficient and it mines stuff faster actually so i'm going to put it in e tier i almost want to put it in f tier but it has a use so it, as long as you get it from the ancient guardian i'd say go for it use it up Thule site crown we're gonna put you in s tier Thule site crown very expensive i think it's fourth little site for nightmare fuel if i remember correctly best head slot armor in the entire game it can provide invincibility when you get attacked with an invincibility bubble and it also has very high damage resistance and it also has very high durability this makes extremely good for certain boss fights and to also get away from horde mobs because while invincible the important part is that when you get hit while invincible don't get stunned for that, I don't know what it is, like a tenth of a second, which can really add up a lot. That can stop you from attacking a boss if you need to do more damage, and it can get you stun locked if mobs hoard you. Dual Sight Club, uh, I've got to put this guy down in C tier. So Dual Sight Club is good in early game as, you know, like a mini walking cane. So if you Runes Rush, what this item does, is it's a, a very high durability weapon. It doesn't do as much damage as the Dark Sword, and then it has a chance to spawn a little shadow tent in the first game don't starve not don't starve together this item is actually significantly longer because the little shadow tentacles are supposed to keep attacking and they're supposed to stay around for a little bit but in don't starve together they're actually bugged so they only do one hit if this item was have that bug fix it would go up a couple tiers just instantaneously and then also the reason why it's really useful still anyways is first off it's a good weapon i'm not going to say like a bad weapon or anything it works well for the Ancient Fuel Weaver fight, especially because you don't want to lose too much Sandy. And then also the 10% movement speed bonus I think it gives is kind of useful when you don't have a cane yet. So I like this weapon. It is kind of expensive though. So like this video if you did and subscribe for more. Appreciate it guys. Bye bye.